Where's my sister going? Hi, it's Tom from Digital Foundry here. Originally revealed as a last-gen title, Until Dawn's revival on PlayStation 4 brings it to the very cutting edge of today's rendering and motion capture technologies. The Killzone Shadowfall engine is at the heart of its delivery, and UK developer Supermassive Games doesn't hold back on using its strong feature set to produce an atmospheric, beautifully lit horror tale of many tangents. With some eye-catching facial capture tech in play too, the only caveat is Until Dawn's high visual standard is paid for in performance. The move to the latest kills an engine works out well for Until Dawn. Image quality is sharp at a native 1080p, with what appears to be a custom post-process anti-aliasing at play, leaving little trace of jagged edges. Many of the rendering methods found in Guerrilla Games' first PS4 effort are also found here. For one, we have its superb physically-based lighting, allowing materials across the woodlands and cabins to react by real-world values. And the results look superb, particularly as light plays across each character's face in heavily shaded areas, bringing out the accuracy of their skin shading. Supermassive Games' art direction for the environment is also crucial, and included in Guerrilla Games' engine are a number of lighting tricks to help this along. Among them is volumetric lighting, giving us the long streaming light shafts that pass across woodland fog and falling snow. With strong bounce lighting, plus the engine's distinctive lens flare effect, the moments when we step out of the shadows calls to mind Killzone's prowess in this area. Cutscenes are bolstered by a per-object motion blur too, plus the engine's expensive depth of field implementation as well. A fixed third-person camera means the use of either can be directed by the studio more strictly. Procedural animation is also a feature that carries over from Guerrilla Games' engine, which in our original breakdown of Killzone Shadowfall showed skeletal simulation with physics-based elements laid over the top. In this case, Until Dawn allows characters to walk in one direction while their head and torch are directed in another via the right analog stick. On top of that, we have cloth simulation that works independently of the logical skeleton underneath, adding position-based dynamics like hair or dangling straps on clothes. But the real star of the show is Until Dawn's integration of motion capture. To accept this in order to move forward, but there is freedom. This covers both face and body capture, stemming from two separate studios. Cubic Motion, who handles the bulk of the facial capture animation work, while 3 Lateral takes point on capturing and rigging character models. The credentials here are strong, having each also supplied the excellent facial and body capture in Crytek's Rise, and the results in Until Dawn easily match this. So, you have committed to commands with this game. This is significant, and I want to help you see it through. No, where'd you get the first point? Does it start at 30? No, 15. Oh, well, more of a ping pong game. <laughs> Based on the game's bonus documentaries, the process seems quite involved. Motion capture takes place over several sessions at Pinewood and Shepperton Studios in London. Facial capture is handled separately to the body movements, though actors are allowed to walk freely during the former for later reference. This is unlike the strict process seen in L.A. Noire, where the motion scan technology forced actors' heads to be locked in place. Each session is then composited together in an arduous final edit, and the results speak for themselves. Home, bro. Creasing across eyebrows, acne scars, and glistening teeth are convincingly implemented, all dynamics that can be tweaked on the fly using the studio's tools post-capture. This ambition comes with certain drawbacks though, as you may have noticed. Stuttering is an issue, and on close testing, the game's performance rests within the 20 to 40 frames per second range, and typically at the lower end. This is with VSync engaged at all times, but it's clear the push for top-grade facial capture and lighting really cripples the frame rate at points, with some of its lowest drops to 20 frames per second occurring during close-ups. The lack of a 30 frames per second cap doesn't help either, with frame rates going up to 40 frames per second at rare points. This means the frame time on our graph goes up to 16.67 milliseconds, but without the consistency at any one number, it simply means fast camera motion shows judder as the refresh switches between rates. In theory, a cap at 30 frames per second would help, but sadly, in its current state, long segments of Until Dawn unfold at around 20 frames per second, particularly in cutscenes with all characters on screen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> 
So overall, Until Dawn is a bizarre concoction, but one that leaves a good lasting impression. It's a sleeper hit with serious tech credentials to start, blending Heavy Rain's branching narrative with Guerrilla Games' latest engine, producing a superb, physically lit woodland and cabin setting. As a PS4 title, it's a satisfying visual package too, and its legacy on last-gen hardware is rarely on show. That is, outside of some unusual performance levels, suggesting the transition to current gen hasn't been easy. The game's main disappointment is in its frame rate then, though it's not damning enough to harm its playability. Much of our time is spent exploring the game from fixed camera angles, and it's only on extreme close-ups on characters, particularly in cutscenes, that stutter is apparent. On balance, putting visuals above frame rate makes sense for a horror game in this style, and though a rock solid 30 frames per second is on our wish list, at least its ambition in character building and set detail isn't compromised. But above all, Supermassive Games' push for capture technology is a real crowd pleaser. With cubic motion and three lateral at the helm, the results are among the most striking we've seen in a video game to date. It's fair to say we see flickers of the uncanny as it strikes out for such a high level of realism, but it's nevertheless exciting to see something so technically involved running on PS4 in real time. Though perhaps not endowed with the outright bombastic appeal of Sony's other big releases like The Order 1886, Until Dawn is a special case. It's a gem with rough edges, but more than that it's a showcase for the great things to come in narrative driven games this generation. Anyway that's all for now, if you like this video feel free to like and subscribe below and until next time thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>